So we have Edius open, and we are going to cut out a person from an image um, using the mask tool. So it's really easy. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to import our image or add file. So what I like to do is I like to have a bunch of different file folders so I know where everything is. So I'm going to click on folders or photos. I'm going to click on photos. I'm going to right click, add file, and I am going to go to where I have my picture saved here. Let's see here, right there, that lovely headshot of myself. So one thing I like to point out to people too is whenever you're bringing in a clip, if you want to make sure that it's going to transfer to your project folder, just make sure this is checked and that will automatically transfer everything you bring in through add file into your project folder so things don't go offline for other people. So I selected my headshot, now I'm going to hit open, that'll bring it up into my bin here, my photos bin, and I'm just going to drag that right down onto a sequence, I'm going to zoom in a little, and so now I want to cut out myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to effect, in video filters I'm going to scroll down to mask and drag that on top and that'll show up in my information window double click on mask and there I am in the mask tool so if I was making a simple mask a, um, a circular object or a highlighting a word or something like that I can use squares or circle that's what these are so the circle what that'll do is obviously make a circle if you hold down shift and I make your X and Y axis the exact same. So you can see I'm making a perfect circle. Um, same thing with a square. So if I had to highlight a word or something, I could do it like that. But if I hold shift, it'll make a perfect square. But for today's demonstration, I'm going to show how to draw a path around an object or a person. So I'm going to hit P or come up to this pen tool here. And I'm going to just start to put a bunch of points in. And so every time I click, every time I left click, it's going to add a point. And if you hold down left click, it'll actually draw a curved path from the previous point, which is really convenient if you have a lot of curved objects to do. So I'm going to just fly through this really quick. Let's speed that up. One thing I did want to point out, actually, since we sped up a little bit, but one thing I want to point out is if you get to a point where you can't really see, you can go up to this zoom tool or hit Z and then if you left click and hold it down you can zoom in just like that zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out zoom in if you need to move a little bit you can grab this pan tool here or hit H and you can slide the image around and then you can reselect your pen tool and keep penning stuff out keep masking Make rounded edges when you need, and keep going. Speed it up again. And done. All right, so I drew a path all the way around myself here. I'm just going to recenter this up a little bit, so you can see. And I have my mask selected. And one thing that um, some of you may have noticed is, hey, your path was really bad at the beginning. Well, that was intentional. So let's zoom in a little bit here because I want to show you something you can do, which is you can go back and change after the fact. If you go to this, uh, the select object or hit V, and then you go to this little tiny arrow down and you go to edit shape, or you can hit A, and you can see all my points come back and I can move them wherever I need to. So I can move them in, I can move them out. Also, if I go back down to here or I hit E, I can edit the control points. So that means I can make it rounded after the fact as well. Click, hit edit shape again. Oops, wrong one. And I can move that path. So once you've got this all polished up, I'm not going to go all the way through and polish it because this is just a demonstration. But you should do it as perfect as you can, especially when going to air. So once you have this um, mass selected, all you have to do is go to outside and go to opacity, highlight that, hit zero, and you can see I am all by myself there, no longer in the cold. But 
One thing you may also notice is there's a little bit of an edge here. So I like to err on the caution of inside the mask rather than outside. So if you come down to edge, click on soft. We're going to just do five pixels in the width. And this little drop down is both. So it would be set to both, I think, as a default. So both would obviously mean both inside the path or the path you drew and outside the path you drew. So I'm going to do inside and you can see it kind of cleaned up that edge. And I'm just because I didn't do this mask very well, I'm going to even do it to 10 and clean up that edge. Now, if you have something like this right here, where you can see the white peeking through, you can go in and you can create another mask. So you could um, click off, click this, draw another mask and add the same thing. Um, and then you would get rid of that. But for today's demonstration, we're just going to do this. So if I wanted the cutout part to be a separate layer from the background, let's say I want to do a white background or something, I would do it just like this. Let's say I wanted to um, apply a filter to outside this mask. I would put my opacity to 100% again. So you can see my cold tundra came back. But I can click this filter button here and I can go over to select filter and this will add a little window like such go to video filters and let's just make it a Gaussian blur on the outside hit OK and you can see it blurred everything that's a lot of blur so we can just go back to these little lines here set up filter and change it to maybe one or two percent and you can see it's not a lot of touch but it's just enough to really bring out um, me from the image and hit OK and then this would all be one image of me cut out. But let's say you wanted me as myself. So let's change the opacity back to zero and hit OK. And now I am all alone there. So let's put me on a white background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my photos again. I'm going to go up here to new clip, color mat, change the color to be white, hit OK, hit OK, and you can see I got a color mat here. And now I am on white. So this would be perfect if you grabbed an image from um, Getty or AP images that you're using and you needed to cut it out. You could do that all in Edius if you didn't have Photoshop or something else. And you can make it look fairly clean. Um, and the nice thing about having two separate layers like this is you can add font or text that comes out from behind this object or a verify graphic or something like that um, that comes out through there. So that's how you do masking with a pen tool. I'll see you next time.